My name's Matt Oliver from the band Systematic Machine. Uh, we have our new single, Sunburn, coming out October 13th, 2023. Uh, you know, it's a song that's, you know, pretty special to a lot of us, put a lot of work into it, and um, yeah, really excited for, you know, everyone to hear it. Beautiful, Matt. Thanks for joining us today, brother. No worries. As you say, man, Systematic Machine are premiering your latest single, Sunburn by Heavy on Friday, October the 13th. Like, it's a pretty creepy day to be dropping new music, mate, Friday the 13th. Yeah, we just sort of figured, um, you know, that would be, I guess, I don't know, it sort of resonated with me October 13th for some for some reason. Uh, I was like, why not? We'll just, we'll just drop it there. But a lot of our other friends have had the same idea. So there's about three other bands that we, you know, interact with a lot also dropping music on that day. Oh, so right. that'll be a good day for uh, local Australian music, which is good. Hey, it's, uh, make sure you tell them to send me a press release for their songs then, bro, so I can get something up in the news section for them. Yeah, definitely. Easy. So tell us a bit more about Sunburn from a musical point of view, bro, what you were going for with it. Yeah, so for this one, we're really trying to hit that... Um, well, we've been sort of getting our sound in over the last couple of years and we've sort of really settled on this grunge alternative aesthetic, really reminiscent of sort of, uh, you know, Incubus, Smashing Pumpkins, a little bit of Deftones thrown in there. Um, so Sunburn was really just uh, probably the first all band collaborative effort. I've pretty much written most of the songs up to this point. Um, so it was good to get input from you know, everyone else in the band and their influences. Um, and, yeah, it's just, you know, culminated into this really great song, I think. Um, that, you know, it's really stands on its own own merits and, um, you know, it's just really fun to listen to. You've only got a lyric video at the moment for it, but I understand you'll have a, a proper music video not too far in, in the future. Well, what, what happened there? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so with that <laughs> one... Um, we were filming. We got the first third of it filmed. Um, and there's another section with some skateboarding and some other things. Uh, the day before I was meant to do that, I sprained my ankle. Um, so unfortunately, unable to uh, do any sort of activities. Uh, but it's coming good now. So we're going to be filming that next week. So hopefully the music video should be out by the end of the month. Um, with any luck. So in the meantime, I'm just throwing together this sketchy as fuck lyric video, um, just to <laughs> sort of tide it over for the time being. It's actually not too bad the way it worked out there, bro. Like a lot of bands these days uh, are releasing the song first just as audio, like through Spotify or through something like that, and then a couple of weeks later releasing the music video. And that works because the, the thought process behind that is that they reckon when you release a music video with it, people just concentrate on the video, but they don't really take the song in that much. But if you let the song out first, people take that in and they learn to appreciate the song and then the video gives it that extra kick. So, Yeah, that's right. I mean, our first single we put out, we only did a visualizer video for it. We were looking at a music video, but I think in the end, we sort of just, with what you said, uh, we decided to be a good idea just to do the song for now and sort of see how that tracks just on its own merits. And then um, for Sunburn, we've decided to sort of go all out with a music video. Um, you know, obviously we have the lyric video now too, so it's got two music videos technically. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll just sort of see how that how that plays out. Um, we just feel it's a, a good way to connect again to you know a broader audience. Uh, you know, through I guess visuals as well as just the audio. Sure. And Sunburn follows on from your previous single, Billy, which was released last October. So how do the two songs differ musically? Um, funnily enough, they don't differ in terms of, I guess, um, sound greatly, which compared to the rest of our catalogue is quite diverse. We have a few punk ones in there. we got one real surfy sounding one. Billy and Sunburn are probably two of the more similar um in sound which i'm really happy with because you know that way we get to keep it a bit more consistent just for the first couple of single releases um but yeah i mean in terms of quality i'd say they're both 
honestly up to the same the same level. A lot a lot of bands with their first single release, you know, they're just really trying to get something out there into the um into the uh world. Um but we really took our time, even with Billy, just to make sure it was, you know, really, really good before we put it out. Um so we're just trying obviously keep that consistency across all of our single releases just so you know, you know who you're listening to and it has our sort of trademark sound. Very smart, bro. So are those two songs standalone singles or are they part of a bigger EP or album picture? Yeah, so we do have another single coming out at the end of this year and we're going to try to squeeze another one in. We'll see how we're going for time. I'm going to throw one of the punk ones in there just for, just for funsies. Um, and then that will form a four-song EP. So right now they're all they'll all be singles on Spotify and then we'll compile them into an EP at the end. And I'm um, looking at doing a tour next year to promote that up and down the um, east coast of Australia and then towards the end of the year, uh, hopefully getting over to Japan as well. Very good, mate. Sound like you got it all worked out, brother. Yes. <laughs> right. Welcome to. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> so for those out there unfamiliar with systematic machine mate give, give us a, a brief rundown on the band and your music yeah so um we've been around for the last something i think two and a half years now been through a few personnel changes just based up here in Mackay, queensland uh we currently got uh glenn on drums he is the only other original member he's a weapon uh aaron on guitar he's lead guitarist i call him our technical advisor just from all the theoretical knowledge he has about music so i'm like is this in key aaron and he will tell me yes or no <laughs> uh we got lachlan on bass he's the newest member he's an ab absolute weapon as well um he's played in some bands that have supported other bands like unwritten law red jumpsuit apparatus so he's got quite a lot of experience there and then obviously myself uh singer guitarist i write a lot of the the bones of songs just bring them in and then we sort of collaborate on that together um, originally systematic machine was sort of a punk surf band um just suited our first vocalists vocal range a bit better and then he obviously left, I took over, and we've moved more into this sort of grunge alt direction um, that we feel is, you know, just going to really work for us. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's your same, man. Like, you're from Mackay, which is in the beautiful Whit Sunday. It's, it's a fantastic part of the world and a great place to live. But how much more difficult is it being an original band from a place that's so far from the nearest capital city? Well, I could go on about this at length uh <laughs> it is it is a lot more difficult um there's a danger of you can really work hard and put on a gig every weekend but the danger there is that you oversaturate the local market and you don't get as many people coming out as you normally would really the aim of the game is numbers for venues to want to keep doing things like that um especially just getting people through the door we have a lot of uh, great organisations around here that are sort of, you know, working with each other to try and make these things happen in a way that benefits the venue and the bands. Uh, for example, we got East Coast Alternative down in Bundaberg, who Spoke put gigs on in Bundy. Well, nice York. Good the other day, yeah, they're good, good blokes. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you, well, yeah, you're definitely familiar with them. We do a lot of gigs with, with those guys. I've got my own uh, Steel Sky artists for Mackay. You know, we put alternative indie, just sort of different things on around town with any venues that are wanting to do that. Up in Townsville, you've got a suitable studio, uh, it's Native Tongue, and a few other ones up there as well that look after that scene. So, you know, we sort of do have these bubbles of communities, but we really do work with each other to make sure that, hey, um, you know, what, what we're doing works for the community and we're not crossing over any other gigs that may be happening um just so nothing gets negatively impacted so it is quite organized and i suppose that 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 term but it is a lot more difficult just in terms of you know funding venue choice and just getting people to come come out and you know buy tickets but we make it work so you also recently supported everclear up in townsville bro so how was that that would have been fucking <laughs> that, that, was, hey? that was nerve-wracking <laughs> Definitely had a moment of hesitation before stepping up there uh, to see in the crowd, but it was great. Yeah, um, it was really a last-minute thing. 
uh, you know, we put our names and just say, hey, look, Everclear are coming up. We'd love to support. And then um, when did they tell us? I think they told us probably four days before the gig. Oh, sure. And we'll just say, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, can't, you can't really say no to supporting Everclear. Um, it was great. They're really nice guys. Uh, Glenn got his snare drum sign. He's got that hanging up in his room now. Um, and yeah, it was just a really great experience and a good choice for a, a really good opportunity for us uh, to get some more exposure to people that may not have heard us before and you know, get that experience of supporting a much, much larger band. Um, so yeah, it was really, it was really good. And you got some shows of your own coming up in Bundaberg on October 21st and Mackay on October 27th. So tell us a bit about them. Yeah, so we got those two coming up. The Bundaberg one's a uh, East Coast alternative special. Um, so we'll be playing that one uh, with In Effigy, Gudgeon, Viper Snatch, uh, Marshall Brothers Music, uh, Rumination, I believe, a few other people, which will be really great. We always love playing with those bands. We play with those bands a lot over sort of the last few years and they you know, become a really good friends. Um, 27th of October, more of a metal-based one um, that my booking company has put together at a place called Arcadia. So we got Then Artist, uh, Varum, Arcade Stories, and then uh, so there'll be more of a metal-based night. And then um, towards the end of the year, we have a few other ones we're putting together. We're playing on an indie one, December 8th, and then uh, I'll try to put some together in November, see what happens. Very cool, mate. All right, bro. Well, thanks for your time today, Matt. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Sunburn is out now and a couple more before the end of the year. So she's premiered on Heavy at 8 a.m. Queensland time on Friday the 13th. So wrap your ears around it and get amongst it.